Good morning, everybody. Good morning. And a happy new year. It's great to see everybody in church this morning. It's a great place to come. First Sunday of the new year to the house of the Lord. And hopefully we're going to encounter him today. Not just today, but every day. Turn around or look beside you. Socially distance. And say happy new year through your mask to the person behind you. And give him a wee wave. Happy New Year. These old masks, they cut us off, don't they? From your smiling faces. But they're keeping us protected. They're keeping us protected. Let's bow our heads. Father God, help us this day to appreciate that it's a gift from you. We come before you this morning to offer you our worship and our praise. Guide us by your Spirit. And through your word, this day and every day. Amen. We're going to stand and we're going to sing, O little town of Bethlehem. Let's stand as we sing. Some sentences of scripture from God's word. Luke chapter 2 verses 10 and verse 11. But the angel said to them, do not be afraid. I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. Today in the town of David, a saviour has been born to you. 
He is Christ the Lord. And a reading from 1 John 4 and verse 9. This is how God showed his love among you. He sent his one and only son into the world that we may live through him. Let's bow our heads as we come to him in prayer. Beloved in Christ, we come together to offer to Almighty God our worship and praise and our thanksgiving. We come to confess our sins and to receive God's forgiveness. To hear his holy word proclaimed today and to bring before him our needs and the needs of the world. And to pray that in the power of his spirit we may serve him and know the greatness of his love. Let us confess our sins to God our Father as we say together, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father, we have sinned against you and against our neighbour in thought and word and deed, through negligence, through weakness, through our own deliberate fault, by what we have done and by what we have failed to do. We are truly sorry and repent of all our sins. For the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ, who died for us, forgive us all that is past, and grant that we may serve you in newness of life, to the glory of your name. Amen. Almighty God, who forgives all who truly repent, have mercy on us. Pardon and deliver us from all our sins. Confirm and strengthen us in all goodness. And keep us in eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. We're going to turn to God's word now. And we're going to read from Matthew this morning, chapter 2. <clears throat> we're going to read verses 1 to 12. It's under the heading, The Magi Visit the Messiah. After Jesus was born in Bethlehem in Judea during the time of King Herod, Magi from the east came to Jerusalem and asked, Where is the one who has been born King of the Jews? We saw his star when it rose and have come to worship him. When King Herod heard this, he was disturbed and all Jerusalem with him. When he had called together all the people's chief priests and teachers of the law, he asked them, where the Messiah was to be born. In Bethlehem and Judea they replied, for this is what the prophet has written. But you, Bethlehem in the land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah, for out of you will come a ruler who will shepherd my people, Israel. Then Herod called the Magi secretly and found out from them the exact time the star had appeared. He sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search carefully for the child. As soon as you find him, report to me, so that I too may go and worship him. After they had heard the king, they went on their way, and the star that they had seen when it rose went ahead of them until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they were overjoyed. And coming to the house, they saw the child with his mother, Mary, and bowed down and worshipped him. Then they opened their treasures and presented them, presented him with gifts of gold, frankincense, and of myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to go back to her, they returned to their country by another route. Thanks be to God for his word this morning. <clears throat> Let's bow our heads again and we pray. Heavenly Father, we bow before you today on this first Sunday of a new year and we acknowledge you as our God. And we acknowledge you this morning as the only true God. Your word tells us that you're a creator God, that you're the Alpha and the Omega. So we come humbly. 
And we come thanking you that we have access to you, our God, through Christ. Thank you this morning for the gift of prayer. A prayer for the sick and the hurting in our midst, in our parish and amongst our friends. When things are as bad as they can be, God, we thank you that you offer us mercy and you offer us forgiveness and you offer us peace. Thank you, God. When we are confused and alone, you come alongside us as a companion. Thank you, God. When we are broken and empty, you can renew us and restore us. Thank you, God. In the valleys and the mountain tops of life, you walk before us. You walk beside us. Thank you, God. Help us to grasp this morning the enormity of who you are, our God. And help us to go into this new year appreciating your blessings in our daily walk. Blessings that flow from you. Amen. As we think of our parish this morning, we, we pray for Trevor as our rector. Lord, you have appointed Trevor as our spiritual teacher our pastoral carer, and as the one who handles your word here in Ballanderry. We pray in this new year that you will continue to equip, enable, and encourage Trevor in his service of you. And may those who hear and see him in this place, may they hear and see Jesus through his ministry and through his witness. And may they turn their lives over to you. Amen. Finally, we pray for our church fellowship in this new year. For those who have been gifted to serve in leadership roles, may they serve you with a passion. With a passion for the body of Christ here in Ballandary. We pray for all the organizations. and We pray for their leaders. We bring before you this morning the young and our elderly parishioners and everybody in between, Lord. You know us all. You know us all as individuals. You know us as a fellowship. You know this morning the needs of your people. Strengthen us as a fellowship and help us through your word to strive to reach others in 2022. May your Holy Spirit guide us in your work by your word to reach your people. Amen. Let's conclude our time of prayer this morning by praying together the prayer that Jesus himself taught us. Let's say together, Our Father. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Twenty twenty two. There's the question. What kind of year? What kind of year is it going to be for you? What kind of year is it going to be for me? Twenty twenty one is behind us for good or bad. And a new year lies ahead of all of us. Our calendar, well it starts, as you know, with 
the birth of the Savior. And I guess it's going to finish with his return. When Christ comes back, you know time. It's not going to matter. The Bible tells us that there's not even going to be day or night. We will be with God in eternity forever. Timeless. No restraints. God's word tells us in the beginning was the word. That's Jesus Christ, the word. And the word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Before anything of this world was created. We read in Matthew today about the Magi coming from the east. Looking for this saviour. This word. This baby Jesus born in Bethlehem. And that's the event that marks the beginning of how we record our days and our months and our years. They found him as it was foretold by the prophets. And the Bible says they fell down and they worshipped him. They fell down and they worshipped him. Worshipped him as king of the Jews. The star pointed them to the stable in Bethlehem where Jesus had been born. And verse 10 in our reading this morning tells us that they were overjoyed. They were overjoyed. It's great to see the boys and girls in church this morning. It's great to hear them too. It's a joy to see them out. Overjoyed, that's the way we are as well, you know, when we encounter Christ. That's what we need to remember when we read this reading this morning. You can be overjoyed when you find a saviour who offers you eternal life. The star led the Magi to Christ. Today you know if the Holy Spirit leads you to Christ and we encounter him, you and I, boy, we'll be overjoyed. Just like the Magi. The Bible says that at that point in your life you're made a new creation. The Bible says that anything old in your life, it will be made new at that point. If you encounter Christ. The Bible tells us that even the darkest of sins in our lives, even the darkest of places that you keep hidden from your loved one, we're full of sin, you know, we're sick and we're miserable. The Bible tells us through this Christ, we can be set free if we encounter him. If we encounter him. Christ can give you new birth, a new beginning, a purpose for living. You hear me saying that many times when I preach, a purpose for living, a purpose for your life. That's the good news we can enter 2022 with. You can find the joy of Christmas, the real joy. The Word, Christ Jesus. Talking about real joy. We're going to go down a bit of a rabbit hole now for us young ones. I'm including me as a young one at this point. I'll call myself old later, maybe. Real joy, real life, the richest gifts offered from God, not just laughter and smiles and a good time. No, the joy of the Lord. This wee thought came into my head at this point when I prepared this sermon. You know, God doesn't do social media. It's great he doesn't, isn't it? He doesn't put a smiley face on for Facebook or for Instagram. And then put down his phone or his tablet and say something or think something completely different. It's good he doesn't do social media, isn't it? Hi, good to see you all. I can set you free. And then put his phone down and say, that's one miserable lap looking there. 
I hope I don't see them for a long time. Real, real, real joy. Oh, we can be two-faced, can't we? That's a rabbit hole I'm taking us down this morning. Hi, it's good to see you. You never look better, so your post. And then you put your phone down and you say, look at the state of her or him. They must have put on 40 stone and aged 50 years and I think they've their filters on too. That's the way we work, isn't it? It's not real. Social media lives, well, they're generally fantastic, aren't they? And you know, we're not alone on Facebook or Instagram or TikTok or whatever. What is it? Instagram, a billion users. Facebook, 1.8. TikTok, over a billion. But it's not reality. What I read from this morning is reality. God's word. God's word. God's word tells us that Christ looks in our heart. So your tablet or your phone, well, it can be switched on or it can be switched off. But God's going to look in here and see the type of person that you and I are. And it's real what he sees. I saw a little meme recently. And of course I saw it on Facebook, so you can now call me a hypocrite. And it was of a little boy who was holding his phone and he said, I wish my name was phone because mommy would hold me more and talk to me more and look at me more. That's our rabbit hole for the young. Here's reality for us at the start of this new year. Without the word in your life, Without the word in your life, every day, you're never going to find real peace. You certainly won't find it in here. You're never going to find real joy. You're never going to find that purpose for living. So maybe at the start of this new year, maybe Christ, through his word, is asking us, to turn to his word more. Maybe this needs to be the first thing we lift in the morning and look at. Instead of this. Ah, but I've got the Bible app on my phone. Well, so have I. Good for you. But what's the first thing I check each morning? The messages and who's been on and who's doing what. What about this? Real joy. Real life. Real joy in living with Christ. And you know that same word tells us if we accept him. And we accept his mercy and we accept his grace. In repentance. Well then it's not just for today. We're accepted into God's heaven. Into that timeless place. Forever and ever and ever. Real joy. Entrance into the place prepared for his children. Where those times and dates and years, they won't even matter. So here, back to the question. What about 2022? What is our reading Tell us this morning, what's it pointing us to? What lies ahead? Well, I tell you, I'm going into 2022 like the Magi. Like the Magi. Not following a star, obviously, but definitely following a king. The same king. King Jesus. I promise you, I'm going into 2022 full of expectation. Relying on the promises of God. And they're found in here. As a Christian, I promise you my glass is more than half full. It's definitely not half empty. Because of what's in here. 
Like the Magi from the East 2021 years ago, I'm going into 2022 realizing and acknowledging that Christ is my King. And acknowledging that everything that I am, that everything that I have, and that everything I ever will be is in his hands. Everything. This year, next year, forever. And boy, if that's you this morning as well, well, we can't go into another year, 2022, in a better place. We really can't. Acknowledging Christ as our King. Bowing down. Worshipping. Standing on the promises of Christ my King. Many a time Roberts played that in this church. Standing on the promises, I shall not fall. Listening every moment to the Spirit's call. Resting in my Saviour as my all in all. I'm standing on the promises of God. My prayer is that that's you this morning as well. If it's not, you know, God's Word tells us that it can be. Happy Christmas, oh yes. Happy New Year, of course. But you're in Christ. You can't be any happier. In Christ you'll never be any richer. That's what we need to grasp as we go into a new year, 2022. Some of you are sitting there I'm sure thinking, does he really believe all that? Or has somebody give him happy pills this morning? Does he really believe all that? Well, he does. He does. And my prayer is that you do as well this morning. Christ is a baby. Acknowledged as king by the Magi, and I promise you, little, old, insignificant me, well, I have no problem doing the same. Falling at his feet. Calling him saviour. Why? Because he came to save me. And he came to save you. Acknowledging him as my redeemer. Why? Because that's what he did. He took my sin. Upon him. And he can take yours too. Acknowledging him as Lord. Why? Because that's what he is. Carried his cross to Calvary. And died for you. And for me. And he rose again. And he sits at the right hand of God. And one day. One day we will all see him crowned. As Lord of all. Lord of all. Some of you are sitting there thinking, well, you know, Merva, that's all good. But as I sit here this morning, that's not me. That's not me. After the year I've had in 2021, I'm going into 2022, this new year, and I'm full of apprehension and I'm full of fear. I'm dreading what lies ahead. I'm worried about the future. Some of you sit here this morning and you're maybe barely existing. Day at a time. You know, Job said in the Old Testament, because of life's experiences, that his complaint, even against God, was better. His complaint against God was better. The road that he travelled was tough. Maybe that's you this morning. If it is, I want to encourage you. 
through his word to go into this year like the Magi. Acknowledge Christ as your king. And if you do, you know, it doesn't matter your circumstances. I don't care this morning what your circumstances are because Christ can take you by the hand if you acknowledge him as king. And he'll get you through this day. And he'll get you through tomorrow. And he'll get you through this year. He'll lead you. And I believe strongly this morning, some of us need to reach out again for the touch of God. We need to acknowledge him as our king and as our saviour and reach out for his hand. And if it has to be one day at a time, well, so be it. But walk it with Jesus. What did God tell Isaiah when he was speaking about the people of Israel? I will be your God throughout your lifetime. Until your hair is white with age, I made you and I will care for you. I will carry you along and save you. Isaiah 46 and verse 4. You know, you might be sitting in church this morning and feeling alone. Christ will never leave you alone if you acknowledge him as your Lord and as your master. Never. Perhaps that's what you need to do this morning, to bow the knee and to reach out an outstretched hand to King Jesus. So what am I really trying to say as we go into this new year? Well, Maybe some of us need to press a reset button. We've talked about these. We've talked about walking with Jesus. Maybe we need to reset our lives for this new year. You know that switch when you can't figure it out? Alt, control, delete. Is that what you hit, Gary? When it doesn't work. And if that doesn't work, switch it on or off at the plug and back on again. Reset. Maybe that's what we need to do. Maybe 2021, yes. Maybe it was a year that you want to forget. Well, then reset. Christ, the Savior, is born. Acknowledge Him as your King at the start of this new year. Seek to live for Him and serve for Him. And You'll never have a reset like it. Your life has a purpose. As planned by God. What better way to find out what it is than to come to God through his Savior. There's a verse that I remember in the King James 1 Peter 5 and verse 7. Casting all your care upon him. For he careth for you. If you remember nothing else. Remember that this morning. Go into 2022 with that verse in your heart. Casting all your care upon him. For he careth for you. Speak it out of your mouth. Say it every morning if you have to. Casting all your care upon him, for he cares for you. Proclaim it as a promise of God. There's another verse in Proverbs 23 and verse 7. And it says this, as a man thinketh, so he is. As a man thinketh, so he is. Or as another translator, translation reads, For as a man thinks in his heart, so is he. So as I close, and this is for us older ones, and putting myself in that group too. How are you going into 2022? What's in your heart? What's in your mindset? What's on your lips? What are you proclaiming? Oh, 
there might be a new variant, you know. It's not looking good. Oh, inflation is up 6% and business is not going to be good. We're in for tough times, I think. The health service, oh, let's not even go there, sure. It's wrecked. Imagine if you were sick at the minute and you had to go to hospital. And the Daily Mail and maybe those other dailies as well. Well, sure, global warming, that's going to kill us all anyway. Probably before the end of the year. If that's your mindset this morning, going into 2022, if that's what you're putting in here and in here, well, I want to tell you this morning, it's no way to live. It's no way to live. It's not God's way. I can promise you that. It's not God's way. Proverbs 23 and verse 7. For as a man thinks in his heart, so he is. Are you standing on his promises? Are you going into 2022 thinking more of this? Thinking more of the Daily Mail or the radio or the other dailies that we're reading and pumping it in here and in here and it's doom and it's gloom and it's nothing to look forward to. There's everything to look forward to if you've Christ in your heart. Everything. Everything. The same king as the Magi encountered and I'm finished. The same king, he spoke to us clearly this morning about the start of a new year. And isn't it wonderful? Isn't it? We have a saviour and a king who loves us so much that he died on the cross for each one of us to pay for our sin. And we can walk with him today and not just today and not just 2022, but right into all eternity. Yes, maybe you have to press reset. Maybe he's calling you this morning back to himself. I hope he is. I hope he is. Maybe you've been far away from God and you found yourself in his house today. And I hope and pray today is the day that you hear from him. Because he's calling you back to himself. Not just for this year, but for every year. The Bible tells us that God is rich in mercy. Somebody once said that justice is for those who deserve it, but mercy is for those who don't. There's mercy with the Lord. There's mercy with the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Let's finish with a little verse from our reading this morning that maybe gives us a picture in our mind's eye as God speaks into our hearts as individuals and questions what kind of a year this is going to be for us. What are we going to speak out? What are we going to think about? Who's going to lead us? Who are we going to follow? After they had heard the king, they went on their way. And the star they had seen when it rose went ahead of them until it stopped over the place where the child was. When they saw the star, they were overjoyed. On coming to the house, they saw the child with his mother Mary and they bowed down and they worshipped him. There's a picture for your mind's eye and for your heart for 2022. That's Byron's. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the clarity of your message this morning. We pray that you will breathe into each one of us as individuals your holy word. Help us to look to it each day guide and lead us into and through this new year. Draw us onto yourself, Lord, 
into a deeper relationship with you. Help us to claim through Christ our place in your kingdom where we can be for all eternity. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. Boys and girls have been very good, haven't you? Very good. We're going to stand now and we're going to sing together our last carol. Still the night, holy the night. Let's stand as we sing. be seated and let's bow our heads in prayer. Can I just say this morning too, if Christ has spoken to anybody and if I can help you in any way, find me afterwards or find me anytime. I preach and I share the word of God in the hope that someone hears from him and will be drawn to him. And if I can help you today to find Christ, what a way to go into 2022. The God of all grace, who called us to his eternal glory through Christ Jesus, may he establish us, strengthen us, and settle us in the faith. And may the blessing of God Almighty the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. We we'll have a great time together this morning, but if you can stay in your seats, and then the church wardens will lead you safely. Right. Happy New Year.